What are you going to do if there's Russian disinformation? You're going to broadcast me, something on social media? Allow me to share when we become involved in the Department of Homeland Security. We become involved when disinformation poses a threat to the security of our country. But here's the problem. Sure. We can't even agree. We can't even agree what disinformation is. This is you well, can't even agree that it was disinformation, that the Russians fed information to the Steele dossier. If you can't agree to that, how are we ever going to come to an agreement on what is disinformation so you can police it on social media? I think you've got no idea what disinformation is, and I don't think the government's capable of it. Do you know who the greatest propagator of disinformation in the history of the world is? The U.S. government. Are you familiar with McNamara, the Pentagon Papers? Are you familiar with George W. Bush and the weapons of mass destruction? Are you familiar with Iran-Contra? I mean, think of all the debates and disputes we've had over the last 50 years in our country. We work them out by debating them. We don't work them out by the government being the arbiter. I don't want guardrails. I want you to have nothing to do with speech. You think we can't determine you know, speech by traffickers is disinformation. You think the American people are so stupid they need you to tell them what the truth is? You can't even admit what the truth is with the Steele dossier. I don't trust government to figure out what the truth is. Sure. Government is largely disseminating disinformation. So I do have a question, and here's the question. So the Russians, maybe the Russians, maybe some cartels. What about COVID disinformation? Is that in your bailiwick for your, dis your disinformation governance board? Senator, you would have to give me the details. With okay, here I, I I've said a million times. I've said a million times that cloth masks don't work. YouTube takes me down. They're a private company. I can have that beef with them. Uh, what about you? You're going to look at that. I often say that natural immunity from having had the infection is equal to the vaccine or better. You're going to take that down. There, there, there well, first of all, it's, those are very specific, Senator. First of all, it's not for us to take it down. And second of all, are you going to put information not, out there are, saying that I'm spreading disinformation? Uh, 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 Senator, we are not the public health experts to make those determinations. So That's public not. health won't be part of the disinformation governance board. No covid disinformation. Yes or no? Se Senator. Yes or no. Is public health going to be part of your censorship group? Somebody l uh, allow me because you're you're pre presenting hypotheticals that are vague and I just gave you a very specific let, one on cloth masks. I gave me, you a very specific you, one on immunity you, from previous infections. I answered your question, but let me let me answer the the last question that you posed. Do not do not under any circumstances accept the vaccine at a FEMA uh, overseen vaccination center because they are actually peddling fentanyl. Now should I sit back and take that, or should I actually disseminate accurate information? That's what we're doing, what we would do. S uh, should FEMA issue accurate information that the vaccinations that we are administering in the sites that we oversee actually are the COVID-19 vaccines? I have, I have a have greater respect for the American people that's than all, you do. I think the American people can figure out the truth.